Hi guys, it's Miss Lisa and I'm out on the porch for Porch Time Story Time and I'm reading you this book today because it is so hot that I am sweating to death and I've only been out here for five minutes. I can't even believe it. This book is called Big Snow by Jonathan Bean. I used to live where it snowed and then I moved here to Florida and it does not snow here. But I saw this book at the library yesterday and I was like, I think I'm going to get this one because maybe I can imagine that it's snowing and it'll cool me off a little bit. Big snow. Mom, said David, when will it snow? I think soon, said Mom. Why don't you help me make some cookies while we wait? So David helped Mom make cookies. He took out the sugar and raisins and flour from the cupboard and he measured out two cups of sugar. And then he measured one cup of raisins. I don't know about you, but I am not a fan of raisins in my cookies. But then the flour, white and fine, made David think about snow. So he decided to check the weather. And Mama had to clean it up. Oh, here's some little snowflakes starting. Small flakes fell softly, white and fine. Let's see if I can get it close enough for you to start to see some of them. Mom, said David, do you think it will snow taller than the grass? I think so, said Mom. Why don't you help clean the bathrooms while you wait to find out? So David helped Mom clean. He put on the big yellow gloves. He sprayed the cleaner. He scrubbed with the heavy brush. But then the suds, white and fluffy, made him think of snow. So David decided to check the weather. Oh, a little bit more now. The flakes were lying white and fluffy. You can start to see some of his, his prints. Mom, said David, do you think the snow will cover everything? I think it could, said Mom. Why don't you help me change the sheets while you find out? We have guests coming. So David took the sheets from the closet. He helped Mama take off the old sheets and put on the new ones. But then the new sheets, wide and cool, made him think of snow. So David decided to check the weather. Oh, man. The snow was covering everything, white and cool. Mom, said David, is it going to be big snow? It just might, said Mom. Why don't you finish eating lunch and then take your nap while you wait to find out? So David took his blanket and his pillow from his bed and he curled up in the big armchair and he closed his eyes and he began to dream. And he dreamt, whoa, that it was a really, really big snow, that the snow fell heavily, that wild wind pushed the flakes through the window cracks, that it howled and it shook the walls, that it roared and blew open all the doors and piled drifts around the house. Mom, said David, is this big snow? Yes, said Mom, help me clean this huge mess. I like this picture, look what she's doing. <laughs> vacuuming the snow. That's how I knew it was a dream. So David helped mom clean up the snow and he tried to push the door shut but the drifts were just too deep. He tried to shovel the drifts but the snow just kept falling heavier. Suddenly there was a loud thumping that started to shake the house. David woke up. There was stomping at the door. It was dad. He was home from work early. Dad, said David, is it very big snow? Why don't you come and find out for yourself, he said. So David and Mom put on their winter coats. They wrapped long scarves around their necks, and they put on warm hats and gloves. Oh, there it is. Then David, Dad, and Mom went out to check the big snow. And then they came back inside, and it looks like they're having a warm drink and maybe some cookies. Hmm, <laughs> Big snow. I hope you like that one. I'm Miss Lisa. I'll see you later for one more Porch Time Story Time. Bye-bye.